membership to anyone who can make a hole in one tomorrow? Oh boy, that's for me. <laughs> Hello? Yeah? A gig tomorrow? Oh, joy! Better practice my tuba playing. <laughs> Better practice my long drive. You wanna tell me? Tui! What's going on around here? Sorry there, neighbor. I'll just practice in the other direction. I'll have to drive at least 300 yards tomorrow. I better see how far this bad boy can fly. Some of my balls. Hmm. What comes in my yard stays in my yard. Ah, oh, come on. Be a sport and just give them back. I said no. Okay. I guess you just don't have it in you. Have what in me? You can't blow hard enough on that thing to send those balls back. Oh yeah. Watch. <laughs> What do you know? You're a real big bag of air after all. <laughs> My club. <laughs> Better get 40 winks if I want to be fresh on the links. Woodpecker's gonna do what a woodpecker's gotta do. I am Hans von Silencio, the greatest tuba player of all time. Yeah, I was passing by when I heard your playing. Oh, maestro, I have heard of your great... Silence! What your playing is missing is silence! You should be so good that the audience could actually fall and sleep in their chairs, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <gasps> Shh. Loves my playing. Sleep well, Mr. Hans von. <laughs> <laughs> Woodpecker! 
Monsters up to tonight. Hmm? We're protecting the neighborhood from space aliens, Miss Me. Wanna help? Uh, no! And make sure you keep your aliens out of my yard. Okay, we will. Yeah, bye. You gotcha. Ow! Uh oh. Uh, sorry, Uncle Woody. We're watching out for aliens. Good night, you two. Don't bother me unless you actually bag an alien. Aliens. <laughs> ah, those kids. on a stick. <gasps> hey, you're not an alien. Uh, no. I'm Buzz Bu... Uh. Buzz Flight Gear. Yeah. Me and Zack Zobar here was in the Flight Academy together back in the day. You know Zack Zobar? I don't remember you from any comics. Well... I'm on a very dangerous mission to fight an alien hiding out in this old house. Read all about it in the next issue, or perhaps in tomorrow's paper. Now, scram! Not it! If we help Buzz Lightyear, we could be in the next issue, too! Where did he go? <gasps> the alien! No, 
<laughs> no! But hey, maybe you could help me. See, these particular baddies are using the uh, intergalactical appliance alliance to make themselves invisible. <coughs> all you gotta do to jam their invisibility frequency is to gather up all the radios, TVs, and stack them in the northeast corner of the house. Say here, by the back door. All right, go Buzz Lightyear! Yeah, to affinity and beyond. <laughs> hey, Madhead, don't aliens like to hide under beds and in dark places? Yeah, let's set a trap. We can get the radios and stuff later. <laughs> Bertha, now let's go bust that appliance alliance. And what self-respecting penny pincher doesn't like hiding her goodies under the mattress? Sometimes my job is just too easy. So good. Help! Help me! The alien must have taken over his body. Close call, eh, Buzz? Huh? Oh, yeah, good job. Now all you gotta do is keep away from me. Ah, I mean, keep it away from me. Here, take this, and this, and take all this. Just keep yourselves busy. Make yourselves the world's most powerful alien eradicator. such thing as aliens. <sighs> now let's get some shot eye. General store where our saying is if we don't have it, buy something else. What do you need, pal? I need supplies for gold mining. Gold mining? Yeah, my great grandpappy was Feathers Mac Pecker. Gold miner extraordinaire. And I have his secret map. Then what you need is a guide. Someone who's wood smart, knows how to pack light, and won't let you end up on dives for a bear. I come with the supply. Dear. Since I'm gonna be your guide, maybe I ought to take a look-see at that map. Sorry, it's top secret. <laughs> Whew! All that hiking has made me smell kinda foul. Bath time! I'll have 
that map in no time. <laughs> oh, my grandpa, oh, my grandpa, oh, my grandpa, he was swell. He left to me a secret gold mine, but he told me not to tell. What a sucker, what a sucker, what a sucker in the set. I'm gonna swim up right behind you. So I can steer, stick it mad. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, seems I've got too many hands. Hey, what do you think you're doing with that? <laughs> I guess anything you want to do with it. You seem like a very busy bear. Places to go, people to eat, Nazi around. Now's my chance to get that map and ditch this chop. I'll keep the map, bub. Oh, dear. But I'll need to see it so I knows where to let you, uh, us off. We need to get off right up ahead. Good. I'll have us there in. Oh, no! If he goes over those falls, I'm gonna lose that map. Oh, I made it! Huh? Oh, Mr. Guide! Bye-bye! The fall's not so bad. It's the bottom that'll get you. Fall! <laughs> A good guide always leads the way. The trick to getting across a rope bridge is to travel light. Okay, now throw my stuff over. Now throw all your heavy things. <laughs> <laughs> A good guide always leads the way. What does it take to get rid of this guy? Now I'll climb ahead and set these pitons for you. When I give you the signal, climb up! <laughs> when you're good, you're me. Oh, Mr. Buzzard! <laughs> Gold this way. Ha! Looks like I beat that city slickin' woodpecker after all. Now, where's that gold at? Go The McPecker Mine! And it's all mine! I'm gonna get this back down the trail. That gold's mine, and I'm taking it with me. You win, Buzz. You win. Just please, please, whatever you do, don't put me in that cage. Oh, please, Buzz, no! Don't leave me here! So long, sucker! Ground floor, going up. Buzzy old boy, what took you? 
But I... you... well... Thanks for carrying the load. I'll take it from here. <laughs> Don't go away. I'll be back soon with another cartoon. <laughs> you three wishes. Woo-wee! But I reserve the right to change modifier to determine the nature, content, and quality of said wishes. Your sign here, initial here, stamp here, fill in the blank, carry the two, 6.7 APR. I'll sign whatever you want. Whoa! And now my first wish is for some water to get me and my baby back on the road. Then I'll think about what else I want, Genie. Hmm. This simple glass of water is not good enough for my master's car. Hey, what's the big idea? <laughs> hmm, what I am thinking is my master's water should be fresh. It should be the freshest water in the world. From a Swedish fjord. Maybe we... You're the worst genie I've ever met. I wish I was the genie. I'd show you how it was done. Oh man, I wasted my wish. But hey, this place has everything I could have wished for. And you know, some guys can't pull off the harem pants look. <laughs> Okie dokie, Woodpecker. Fine. Now I get three fishes, yeah? Sounds like a lot of work to me, buddy. Get lost. Give me that. <laughs> this is the life. I robbed the lamp. I want my wishes. I robbed the lamp. I want my wishes. It's all about you, isn't it? All right, I'll give you anything your heart desires. <laughs> I wish to be a new me. You mean a makeover? Yeah, I want a new head of hair, a washboard stomach, and, and I want to be reigning king of Sweden. Your wish is my command. A new head of hair! <laughs> a washboard stomach! <laughs> You're the reigning king of Sweden. Good day. I get you. Yeeny Woodpecker! Ah! Hmm. How will I ever find my magic lamp? Eureka! Ooh. Oh, not again! What? A 
another fish? Yeah, I fish for, hmm, a three-story house. Oh, yoy. My own three-story house. A dream come true. Yeah, and I'll give you a personal tour. This is the first story, Goldilocks. Check out these comfortable chairs. <laughs> no, too stuffy. <laughs> no, too conformy. <laughs> what do you know? Just right. How about some porridge? No, too hot. Too cold. Having fun yet? Yeah! Liar! Now listen up, Pinocchio. The only thing for little wooden boys to worry about in the real world is woodpeckers. Yeah! <laughs> and here's your third story. Not by the hair on your chimmy chin chin. Oh no. Ah, now back to some relax. Hey, where'd my mansion in a lamp go? Oh, Woodpecker. Hey, give me that. I believe it's time for my third wish. And I wish to be the Yeni again. Now I get a wish, see? And I wish I was the Yeni again. No! I want to be the Yeenie. No, I'm the Genie. No, I'm the Yeenie. No, me. Me, 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 Easy what's up with that stole a fortune from Tut and hid it in his own booby trap tomb, which has been lost for centuries. It's said to hold a laughing curse that will reduce anyone who tries to take the treasure <gasps> into a giggling fool. <laughs> Egypt is so fascinating. Oh, if I were an archaeologist, I'll bet I could find that lost tomb and become world famous. Oh, my last quarter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I found the hieroglyphic stone that will point the way to the hidden tomb and all its treasure. Now, when is the expert coming to help me with the translation? <laughs> what are you doing? What kind of expert are you? I have spent five long years of painful digging here. Five years? No wonder. Look at the tools you've been using. Look, how do you expect to pick up all this sand? <laughs> You've got this vacuum on reverse. Vacuums are for cleaning. How did you find it so quickly? Oh, I just knew where to dig. Ooh, look, Professor. Is he the court jester? Yeah, Izzy. I asked you first, who is he? No, Izzy. That's what I'm asking you. Is he the court jester? He's the court jester, Izzy. Yeah, Izzy? What's up with that? Exactly! Izzy, what's up with that? Yeepers. Mm, I don't have time for this. I must explore the tomb. Ooh, exploration of a tomb. This is my expedition. I lead the way, and what I find is all mine. Okay? Okay. Professor, be careful! <laughs> <laughs> 
It's common knowledge that pyramids are booby-trapped. And don't forget about the laughing curse! <laughs> booby traps. Curses. <laughs> A bunch of tourist trash. treasure is. A court jester would know all kinds of jokes. Let's see. Uh, why did the chicken cross the road to get to the other side? <laughs> wow, that really is the oldest joke in the world. <laughs> hmm, she's the expert. The treasure must be that way. Oof, 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 oof. Or maybe the treasure is this way. Ouchie, ouchie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or maybe it goes up. Enough with the nibble, nibble. Mayday! Mayday! My expedition has been cursed by Haveco! Send help! Now! Hmm... No... Wait a minute... Push for treasure! Oh my! If there's treasure, it must be in there! and I found all this. First day? No, no. This is my life's work. My archaeological goal. The treasure of Easy What's Up With That is mine. <laughs> Pies in the face, punchy punchy gloves, piranhas, suction darts, and a mummy. I did the chicken cross the road to find my discovery. <laughs> yep, you're right to call this in. The guy is a wacko. <laughs> no, no, uh, she's the wacko. <laughs> she's the one. Can't you tell? He must have caught the laughing curse. I tried to warn him. Day. Remember, food lovers, souffles are fragile little things. They need a calm, quiet environment, or they could collapse. Woo! <laughs> I know. I'll throw a bagpipe appreciation day party. The likes of wets the Scottish has never seen. What pepper? I heard that! Your least specific. 
specifically says no parties. They're noisy, and I'm trying to bake a souffle, which requires quiet! No parties! Now, how can I have a party with a pooper like Meanie around? Sometimes, if you want to beat him, you gotta join him. Inspector Decibel, noise police. Noise police? We're affiliated with the CIA, the FBI, the EIEIO, and all other abbreviated government agencies. Hmm, the government. That's right, ma'am. You'll tip the woodpecker. We got a major file on this dirty bird. <laughs> I'm going to need your help to silence this noisemaker once and for all. Well, I'll do anything it takes, Inspector. I'll watch him like a hawk. Catch him in the act. Then I'll grill him like a steak. I like your spunk. Maybe when this is over, you and me. Oh, it's Inspector. <laughs> Stay in here and keep Woody on round-the-clock watch. Do not leave your post no matter what you see, ma'am. And then report everything back to me tomorrow. Is that clear? Affirmative, Inspector. <laughs> Party time! <laughs> Surveillance is a dirty job, but somebody's gotta do it. Party Central, book me your all termite band and deliver the biggest party tent you got. Party Central. Great. Did you bring the tent? What? What's that tent about? That treehouse you're renting me has termites. Rare musical termites. You don't understand me. You are taken care of. You don't me. You think that I Musical termites? Ha! There's something fishy going on, and I'll get to the bottom of it. That woman's like a bad rash. She just keeps coming back. Whoa! Inspector, am I glad to see you. We need to get inside that tent. Good thinking. Come on. Follow this stream. Hang a left on Willow. Make a U-turn on third, turn right on first, and come right up inside that woodpecker's elevator shaft. Got it? Good. Go. Aye, aye, sir. <laughs> Ah, twas nothing, you and put the topper to this. Already, I will. Say no more beating around the bush to catch this woodpecker, Ms. Meanie. You mean? Yep, we're going in loud and we're going in proud. But Inspector Decibel, I don't know how to parachute. There's only two rules. Do this. Don't do this. Got it? Good. I'll have you down the chimney before you can say Merry Christmas. <laughs> Oh, now 
I like that. Two, three, four. Woodpecker, woodpecker, you make me scream. Woodpecker, woodpecker, you make me mean. <laughs> Bagpipe Appreciation Day. A day to be a loud, proud Scotsman, laddie. Oi! <laughs> Don't go away. I'll be back soon with another cartoon. <laughs>
No. Bombs of A, neighbor. Wow! This ought to do the trick. <laughs> Sugar pants. The cute little puppy friend, you betcha. Turn to a really big movie. Blow up everything you see. Oh, being an actor must be so exciting. Oh, thank you to all the little people who made this award possible. My only regret is I've never had a chance to work in a really big movie. Say, fans, how would you like a chance to work in a really big movie directed by Swedish action director Wally Walrus? <laughs> Extras are needed in Hollywood today. I'm ready for my close-up, Mr. Walrus. I'll shoot this movie exactly as it's outlined in my little storyboard. It just doesn't sing to me, Wally. It needs something fresh. <laughs> My opus. Hi, I'm Winnie Woodpecker, and I'm here for. Oops, sorry. Sorry, Red. You just made the biggest splash I've ever seen in Hollywood. <laughs> Say, wait a minute. You've got that fresh girl next door quality that's big, big, big now. Walrus, I want Winnie Woodpecker in this picture. Oh, can you believe it, Mr. Walrus? I'm going to be in your movie. Oh, yeah. And I got just the job for you. In this scene, yeah, the bridge was blown up all kaplooey by the bad guys. You're the helpless bystander. Um, Mr. Walrus, uh, why can't the helpless bystander, me, just free herself and not be so helpless, like so? Then I could pull the brake and save myself! <laughs> the brake! The brake! Listen, you. Don't you do anything until you hear me say action. Got it. This is a rehearsal, yeah? You release the break on action. On action? Action. <laughs> <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 
<laughs> Stop. Stop. Try Are you going to call action? Action! Method says, when in doubt, improvise! Spectacular! The best! Wouldn't change it! Walrus, give Winnie a line in the next scene. Oh! My big break. Oh, thank you, sir. You got something, kid. Yeah, and it's going to kill me for sure. Mr. Walrus, it says the baker, that's me, screams when the bad guy comes into town. What exactly should I scream? Get down the street now! Get down the street now! Like that? No! You get down the street. You get down the street. No, 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 you... Oh. <laughs> Blow up everything you see in the vest. Scene seven, action. Oh, what kind of movie heroine screams and runs away? Not Winnie of the West Woodpecker, that's for sure. Woodpecker! What are you doing? I can't take any more! <laughs> Who knew the walrus could act? Magnificent! Brilliant! most exciting action sequence since blow up everything you see in Manhattan. I want you in all my movies. Oh, thank you, Mr. Big. But, you know, I think what I really want to do is direct. <laughs> and Wally, such emotion, such frustration. You'll be my newest villain. The walrus my viewers will love to hate. Yoinky doinky. Nice work, everyone. That's a wrap. for the grand old game. Ha! Easy hole. I'll be sinking my putt in jig time. Computer, select me a driver. A wood for Woody. Just the ticket. <laughs> Nutwink, Rudy, I'm going to go visit my friend Gertrude on the 15th green. Now don't get into any mischief while I'm gone. We will, Tom. Good boys. Service! Golf 
offer. Come on, I know a fun game. You don't. Now give me back my golf balls. You want them? You got them. Yes. Mister? Yeah, no harm, no foul, right? Wrong! I thought I told you two to stay out of trouble! Oh, we're sorry. Yeah, we're sorry. It was all a misunderstanding. Yeah, we, 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 we thought you were somebody else. So sorry. Not quite, boys. Now you're going to get what's coming to you. Hmm. 
Looks like a 300-yard straight into a left hook dog around the sand trap. What club do you recommend? Ah, it's a wood for Woody. Now let's see you send that ball 300 yards. 